Hey Fright fans, Scott from Fright Props here, and today we're going to be unboxing our motor and speed controller kit. The kit comes in a box like this, a label on the front here, and there's a QR code here that you can scan to see a wiring diagram for this setup. Let's pop it open and see what's inside. We always like to throw in a sticker with every order just to make sure you have something to decorate your haunt workshop with. Next up, we can see the motor itself right here. It comes in its own box, just like this. You never know what other kind of surprises you might find in a Fright Props package. Yeah. The power supply is here. This is a 12 volt, five amp power supply. And here is the speed controller along with a female wire adapter so that you can attach the power supply to the speed controller. Now we'll go ahead and get everything set up and show you how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the motor here. And remove the motor itself. Inside the box, you're also gonna find the motor shaft arm with the shaft nut to attach it to the motor shaft and then three bolts for mounting the motor. The motor itself comes with a label that actually tells you what the wires are on the motor. So you have your red wire as your positive, you have two negative wires, a blue and a green. So you use the blue for fast speed and the green for slow. And then you have your two parking wires, yellow and black. All right, so let's go ahead and wire this up to the speed controller and show you how it works. We'll set the power supply aside for a moment here and open up our speed controller. This uh, female power supply adapter is included. It's gonna help us wire the motor to the speed controller. The speed controller has a dial here that allows you to set the speed from off all the way up to the maximum speed of the motor. There are screw terminals here for wiring in the motor and those are labeled here on the back side. So you have your power plus, power negative, motor plus and motor negative. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually use this power supply adapter and wire that into the power plus and power minus. Here's our screwdriver. We're just gonna loosen these terminals a little bit. Once the screw terminals are loose, we can go ahead and install our female adapter here. So red is plus and black is minus. We can go ahead and just put those in to those terminals there, flip it over and screw them down. Next up, we'll wire the motor to the speed controller. So again, you can see that there is a motor plus and a motor negative here. Looking at the motor itself, we can see that red is plus, and then again, we have two negative wires, either blue or green. When you're using a speed controller, you always wanna use the fast speed because you want the motor to be able to go as fast as it can, and then you can use the speed controller to slow it down if needed. So we're gonna be using our red and blue wires. So we're just gonna take the red wire and install it into plus and the blue into negative. All right, so that's the motor wired to the speed controller. These wires here, you could either cap with a wire nut, clip them off as they're not used for this setup, or just kind of make sure that they're not touching each other. You can fold them back and even insert them into this outer shielding here. So that they're tucked away, but not touching each other. Best option is probably to put a wire nut on them to make sure that they're not gonna contact each other. All right, and then lastly, we can go ahead and open up our power supply here. Again, this is a 12 volt, five amp power supply. Let's see there. We'll go ahead and take the plastic protector off the cord. We can take off the twist tie. We'll plug the power cable itself into the power brick here. Make sure to push it in all the way. We can undo the twist tie on this uh, end here. And then we'll go ahead and plug this in to our wall socket here off screen. And then we can plug in the power supply to the speed controller. Once that's plugged in, we can go ahead and turn the speed controller up and the motor shaft will start spinning. Let's go ahead and install the motor arm onto the motor shaft here so, just so you can see it a little better. Turn that off. Take our motor arm here out of the bag. It just sits onto the motor just like this comes ready to go, ready to mount a linkage to, all set. Then you just take your motor shaft nut here, thread that onto the motor spindle. And then you can use a wrench to tighten that down. Now we can actually see a little better how the motor moves when you turn up the speed controller. And 
allows us to adjust the speed to whatever works for our application. If you wanted the motor to spin the opposite direction, you can just switch the polarity here. You could put the red wire in the top uh, screw terminal there and the blue wire in the bottom. All right, so that's a quick look at our motor with speed controller kit. If you have any questions, of course, you can leave a comment on this video or send us an email at sales at Thanks a lot.